Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. This time uh, I uh, want to start by uh, welcoming new subscribers to the channel and uh, I hope you enjoy the various different uploads I've done and do please have a look at some of the older ones. So welcome and uh, if you've ever got any questions I'll do my best to answer them but I would like to point out that um you know I don't class myself as any sort of expert on these cameras I'm just uh, what you might call an enthusiastic collector I suppose but uh, if I can if I can answer the questions then I, I will do and your comments are always very welcome so again welcome new subscribers and I hope you uh, find these uh, vlogs of interest. And thank you for taking the time to subscribe. Um, there is one thing I'd like to point out that uh, occasionally I go through my old posts and, and I've noticed that people have asked the question, but I've, I've never had a, um, any sort of, uh, you know, warning about this. I've never had any anything come through to say that uh, you know there's a there's been a, a, a request and I only tend to uh, find them and see them when I'm going just going through the old the older uploads that I've done so um, apologies if you've ever asked the question and it's never been answered that's not intentional it's just the way that I've, I've never had a sort of a heads up that um, a new question's been uh, been been asked so um please forgive me if that has happened anyway um i've got another new acquisition well not new 88 years old to be exact uh, but i just received this week earlier this week uh, another camera and um, this camera it, it actually in a sense it, it fills the gap it's the missing link in my collection of Leica 3s and it's this one this is a Leica 3 it's a straight Leica 3 it's the first version of the Leica 3 instantly recognizable because it has the you can see here it's got the slow speed dial this is the first model to feature the slow shutter speeds but Unlike the other models that came out, like the 1A and the 1B and so on, it still retains the maximum uh, shutter speed of 1 500th of a second. And this is the only 3 version uh, that does so. With the 1A, which I've also got out to show you, with the 1A, the maximum shutter speed is one one thousandth of a second so I'll put that back out of the way you've seen that one before in fact the very first vlog I did feature that camera uh, this camera dates from 1934 and it's come from a London dealer by the name of uh, Peter Loy um, if you ever go onto his uh, website he, he's got stacks of cameras listed not just like us all sorts of things and um, he he specializes in vintage cameras and he's known for being very very honest about his descriptions and he tends to be very conservative about the way he rates them as well uh, I only know one person who I did buy a camera off him and they were very pleased with it but if you read the reviews um, it's uh, he, he's uh, a very decent chap apparently um, and I've not read any negative reviews at all. He's, he's got a website. It's it just Peter, Peter Loy. If you do a search, you can have a look at the cameras. Um, a lot of them, particularly the Likers, are in need of attention. But he, he will list the problems with it. He might say, for example, it's, got, it's sticking at the slow speeds or it might be sticking at high speeds. But he's, he gives very honest descriptions about his... Uh, cameras and this one I, I was going down his list and it, it, I've been aware that I don't have a, a Leica 3 in the collection and I saw this one 
um, for sale. But what drew my attention to it is that um, the camera in 2016, it had been um, serviced by a gentleman called Malcolm Taylor. Now, if you Google Malcolm Taylor, he uh, is based in Herefordshire in the United Kingdom. Sorry about that. And um, he is something of a, a specialist in Likers. And in fact, um, I think he started um, servicing them. I think he had connections with the Hove Camera Company, but he's, he's now in, in Lemster in Herefordshire. Um, but he has a, an excellent reputation for his work. Uh, I've never used him, I've never met him. I, I don't know him from Adam, but I just know he's got a very good reputation. Um, but it was serviced by him in 2016. And I've actually, when I ordered the camera, I asked if uh, Peter Loy, if, if he could prove that. And he said, yes, I'll send you the original uh, receipt. And so I have that in my position now as, as proof. But uh, to give you some idea of his expertise, he was asked by lights at Veslar if he would uh, overhaul and clean, lubricate and adjust their collection of early Leicas, including Oscar Barnack's original cine camera that he was designing. So I think that goes some way, in fact, a very good way of uh, demonstrating um, this chap's expertise. So hopefully when I put some film through, it shouldn't uh, have any problems. The camera was bought body only. And that's why it's got this body cap here. So I'll give you a quick little tour around it and we'll, we'll start by taking the base off. Um, there's inside the base there. It's got the usual um, warning about uh, cutting the leader in what you'd expect in, in four different languages. And uh, there's the base. A little bit of, uh, I don't know what that is. It, it, it's the chrome it look, appears to be missing. But you know, this camera is 88 years old. So I think we've got to forgive it for a few little things like that. And uh, inside looks looks nice and clean. It's got the earlier take up spool, like so. And uh, I'll just put this torch on, so you can have a better look. Looks pretty uh, good from where I'm sitting as it should be if it's been serviced, like so. And uh, right, I'll just slip the base back on. And we'll have a look inside the camera. And again, there's the uh, the curtain that's exposed when the camera is uh, the shutters uncocked. Looks in pretty good nick to me. And there's the line that appears when the camera is is cocked ready for for shooting. There's the uh, usual Leica rangefinder coupling. Like so, and the other interesting point about this camera, and it's constantly le constantly learning new things about about Leicas, because I wasn't aware that um, the that the, there's a finish no, known as. Um, bright chrome or something like that and uh, when I um, when I saw the advertisement for Peter, uh, on Peter Lloyd's website it, it was mentioned it was a bright chrome finish and it, that's something that I actually never heard of so 
as I said, I, I've been collecting these cameras for a few years, but I, I don't ever remember coming up um, against uh, that description before. Uh, but when it when it arrived, it clearly it is a, definitely a, 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 a deeper and a shinier chrome than and all the other cameras. I don't know whether I'm going to put this body cap back on just for now because uh, it'll save me putting my finger through the uh, the aperture so I can hold it like that because I don't know if it's, this is going to show up on the phone but but if you look at the it all depends on the light but th this is the the Leica 3 this is the 3a and it, it, it is actually definitely I don't think it is showing up is it but I'll, I'll move it around a bit. oh there there you can probably see now the the chrome on that uh, on that base it's it's a shiny chrome um and I, I said I was not aware that such a finish uh, existed and apparently um a lot of the three uh, like the like of threes the, the first uh, version of the three series a lot of them were finished like that in the early early production run so it's nothing it's nothing unusual it's nothing rare but um i think it's quite interesting but i i actually not not sure which finish i prefer really this is a bit of a novelty having one in the deeper chrome um so so for, if, if you like I, I tend to call this one in the high chrome or the deep chrome and this is the satin finish and i don't think the phone's going to pick up any real difference between the two it's also come with um, a six month warranty as well and um, I think that's all I've got to say about the camera really I'm going to put some film in it very shortly and give it a, a spin um, I will demonstrate the uh, the shutter speed it's set at uh, 40 now. Um, I'll go down to the 20th of a second. And it's it's got that typical Leica clunk to it. As I've said before, uh, these shutters aren't quite. This is a foot 1 40th of a second. And uh, 100th. And uh, one five hundredth of a second. Quite clunky, but um, they all are, as I've said before. I've often mentioned this before. Um, but anyway, that's it, basically. This is a Leica 3, the first of the range of uh, the 3 Series, and featuring this uh, slow-speed shutter dial here. And I must admit, though, I I've... I've never used this facility on any of the on any of my cameras. Um, so if you're if you're thinking of buying a, a Leica, you know, um, ask yourself how often do you take photos that require a shutter speed uh, below a twentieth of a second? Because the speeds on here, there's a a one second, a half second, a quarter second, and a, one eighth of a second okay it, it, it could be useful if you're specialized in taking photographs in dark places but I, I've never and I've used you know I, I've taken quite a few photos with these various cameras and I've never felt the need to for the slow speeds so they're not sort of a in absolute necessity and you probably can save yourself a bit of money if you say looking at uh, the, the later cameras if you were uh, say something like uh, one of the uh, later series twos uh, which are instantly recognizable because they put like a uh, the post-war ones of, of, the, of the two there's, there's a 2c i think there's a i can't remember if there's a 2f i don't know but there's i'm sure i've seen the two c's but you can instantly recognise them because there's a blank little round blanking plate put there where that's only on the post-war bodies. On the the twos from the uh, pre-war period, they haven't got that. 
and uh, talking of twos, I uh, my my like a two, the the black bodied one that you saw a few months back. I featured that one. That's still the way with Alan Starkey being uh, CLA and hopefully come back with. Uh, it's the one I showed you with the damaged shutter blinds, which I bought at auction. But uh, I'm hoping this one is going to be trouble free. It was serviced by. Um, Malcolm Taylor, who's got a worldwide reputation for his work. Um, I've never used, um, I've never used him. I think he must be getting on a bit now. I don't know how old he is. I've not a clue. Um, you know, I'm quite happy with uh, Alan Starkey, who's also got a very, very good reputation. So anyway, I think, uh, I think that's probably it. Um, I hope you've uh, found this of interest and uh, I think I'm just looking at my notes and uh, I think I've covered everything I wanted to say about it and I don't want to start re um, repeating myself I say it, 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 it does it, it, it does now fill the gap I've got every variation of the three and that's why as I say I bought this one um, and uh, we 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 all learn new things, and and this bright chrome, this bright I always say it's a bright chrome, but it's a, a brighter chrome. It's not a satin chrome. It's it's shinier. That's something that's new to me. So, again, we 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 uh, learn new things, don't we? And uh, like all the earlier three cameras, the the range finder here and the viewfinder are further apart. And the uh, little diopter adjuster here for your eyesight is 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 here, um, and easily knocked. So so even if you adjust it for your eyesight, once you put the camera back in the case, if you're using a case or whatever, you're bound to knock it back into that position. That's why in the later ones, it was moved under the rewind knob. Um, but it's it, it, you know it's it's actually really clean and, and it's a it's in amazing condition for a camera that's eighty eight years old. So again, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you soon. So uh, bye bye for now.